Okay, let's do our update on crypto here. Uh, last update was a while back, and the reason is because that update was pretty big picture, and nothing has changed about the big picture. If anything, the downside is just accelerated. I think we're still likely not to see a low for quite some time, which is part of the reason why you know daily chart matters so much less. But we'll start there anyway because I know people like to follow that kind of thing. And so, on for Bitcoin. Your daily cycle low was day 59, which was May 12th. And notice there was very little bounce from there. I'll zoom in here. You had this little three-day bounce. And then you just kind of consolidated here. Then you had another little bounce. Did make a higher high above here, day 19. Then you consolidated. Then you had this, we just, just rolled over. Then you had this big downside. This is your, let's see... This is when you go down, right? So you went down 41%, you know, in, in a couple of weeks, essentially. And and so if we look at Ether, same time frame, same idea, just more downside. And equally important, notice how Bitcoin made a higher high on day 19. It's, Ether could not. Ether actually topped out on day three, and it's been falling ever since, and it's day 37 which is the same thing for Bitcoin, I didn't mention. So today is, is, is June 18th, by the way. And so, you know, we have been falling for, you know, 34 days, right? Like, and almost all of those days has been uh, red. And we had that really big downside last couple of weeks uh, to match kind of Bitcoin. So now we'll scale up. We'll move to the weekly chart, which is... Probably the time frame, probably the minimum time frame you want to start looking at at this point. So we'll start with Ether. And I mentioned many times before, it does look like there's a 15-month cycle in play. So the lows are generally around 15 months apart. And so I suspect that puts our low on the week of September 26th, which would be essentially the end of September uh, beginning of August, or excuse me, beginning of October. And so just as we have a weekly daily cycles, we have those weekly cycles, right? And then the weekly cycle, this week, this current week we're in is week is week number 20. This candle is going to close in another day. So tomorrow we'll start a new candle around eight o'clock uh, Eastern, I believe. And that will be the start of week 21. The weekly cycle before that was 31 weeks. The one before that, 39, 28. The weekly cycles tend to be a little bit more erratic. But here's the thing. If we are going to get a low around 15 months from now, then that would mean we're probably just going to get a weekly cycle that is about 35 weeks. That's how you understand cycles that work within each other, right? If we have a larger cycle that's 15 months, we have the smaller cycles of weekly cycles, and we have the even smaller cycles of daily cycles, we can get a sense for how they're going to play with each other. And so it would seem that we're going to get another four, 15 weeks of this weekly cycle because we're on week 20 to get us to a, a low on, you know, week around week 35, which is probably going to be our 15 month cycle low, which would beg the question, actually, if I zoom into the daily chart, because we're on day 37, right? And so if we... I suspect we get another daily cycle between now and then, right? Because that would be a daily cycle that's 141 days long. So so that's another important kind of thing to kind of think about. So maybe we get a cycle that is about 60 days long. So that gets you to around July. So maybe we get a bounce for Ether around July. We start a new daily cycle. So to be clear, I'll take this off auto. That would look something like this, right? So we continue, we continue lower from where we are, right? So we maybe do something like that, and not in a straight line. We'll certainly probably get bounces along the way, and then we'll ma we'll make a move up. I'm sorry, I have to restart that. So let's say we'll make a move down there, then we'll make a move up, and then we'll continue the descent lower, right? until we get our, our final low, you know, sometime around, you know, early October, late September. And who knows what level that is. Maybe it is in the 500 sort of range. Again, you'll get bounces along the way. 
And so if I go back to the weekly chart and I look at uh, Bitcoin, same kind of idea. Bitcoin is in a slightly different uh, situation because Bitcoin tends to have, uh, you know, tends to have a weekly cycle that is um, or tends to have a four year cycle. So a 48 month cycle. And so if we look at the monthly chart for Bitcoin and I will. Get rid of these lines. So importantly. Right. So importantly, I'll take the. Right. So we are right now on month 42 and the Bitcoin cycle tends to be 48 months. And so that actually isn't slated to end for another you know, till December. So a lot more downside potential for Bitcoin and the potential to have a bounce. I'll take this off for Ether, you know, earlier than Bitcoin. We're on month 12. So, right, we continue down here and then we get a, a real bounce. Maybe Ether is what sort of spurs the the low for, for Bitcoin. Who knows? But that's where we stand. You know, maybe another three or four months of downside for Ether, maybe a whole you know rest of the year for, for Bitcoin, maybe for both of them. We have the merge coming for Ether as well. So that's another catalyst that is probably in the October sort of time frame. So that also kind of lines up.